We need Steven Hendricks. Whatever happened to that guy? Uh, he's been stuck in a dumpster for the past 10 years. Well, haven't we all, Andrew? No, no, literally. Stuck in a dumpster. You remember that kid he used to pick on in high school? Yeah, David something? Yeah. Well, it turns out this guy was really weird about his chairs. Like, Steven would come in and sit in his chairs and he'd always be like, Hey, bulldozer, you're still in my seat. You're in my seat. Well, I still don't see your name on it. And you're probably still looking for a oh, comeback, oh, too. Whatever, Mickey Mouse. That was about the gayest thing I have ever heard. <laughs> roll with the big leagues, man. You roll with the big boys now, okay? <laughs> You're asking. I hate you! I hate everyone! <laughs> well, he got so fed up one day that he actually broke into the school just to carve his name onto the desk. So, the next day when he walked in, Hey, bulldozer, I believe you're in my seat. Like I said, I don't see your name on it. Well, maybe you should look a little bit closer, because it's there. Why don't you come over here and show it to me? OK, I'll show it to you. Dovid? Your name is Dovid? <laughs> <laughs> what, you can't even spell your own name? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I do too know how to spell my own name. That's an E, not an O. I hate you all. But then one day, Dovid finally got his revenge. You mean David? D yeah, whatever. Steven, let's go. It's not a big deal. You gotta come out of there sometime. No. Listen, we need you to come out here and act like an adult. Do us like a living fear. Steven, we're getting the band back together. What band? Ladies and gentlemen, Shelly Stover. Man, I thought it would never come to this. Man, that girl went to Hollywood for real. Hey man, quick get a drink over here! <laughs> so we're still going out tomorrow, right? Um, yeah. Still, no, we got About that, I was gonna talk to you. Well, we had plans. About that. What? Yeah. The papers, darling. It's all about the papers. Oh, gee. Even the bambino says some himself. Shelly, darling, I think it's about high time that I made an honest woman out of you. Are you asking for my hand in matrimony? No, love, I'm asking you to 
you marry me. I want it all, Shelly, the whole nine yards. Little regrets on our front lawn. White picket fence. Why, what do you say? Well, I just think it's the berries. <laughs> Shelly, darling, will you wear this ring and be my wife? You stupid <laughs> That was a $50,000 ring! $50,000, Shelly! Do you have any idea how much money that is in today's economy? Jesus! You never did reimburse me for that ring, did you, Shelley? No. How much was it? Well, it was the Depression, and I would say given cost of living adjustments, inflation, all sorts of per capita. Ah, oh, heck. It's just a stupid ring. My precious. Who said that? Ah, uh, never mind that. Listen, I got some great news for you. Go get your bags packed. We're getting the band back together. No. No, I have a show to do. I have to sing. Shelly, what is this? Jesus, woman. Get a hold of yourself. Look at you. No, I can sing. I can do this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Different. What's your secret? It's not the secret. It's a pezzano. What the f You call yourself an Italian woman and you're going to the store buying store bought pasta sauce? Shame on you, Guido! Mama works so hard all day long! I don't have a time to cook you dinner! And f you too, Tony! Don't start with me, Ma! Don't start with me or I'll f***ing cut you! I'm sick of tired of all of you! Mama do this and Mama do that! You don't shut your f***ing mouth, I'm swearing to you! You have had enough of this family! I don't like it! Seriously, open up the door! I know she's in there. She's in there. Lauren! We're getting the... Just get in the car.